Welcome back everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I myself had a fantastic weekend. I got some good family time in with everybody. I got to go watch a couple good ball games, what my some of my family participated in, got a couple victories. So it was a great weekend for me. And I'm telling you what, it's going to be even better right now because I logged on to here and seen not only did Deanna and Phil make a new video, which I love their channel, but they made a video on Italian street food. And Italian food is my favorite. No matter how many foods I see out there, and that means no disrespect to anybody else's food. I just love Italian food. I love pasta, pizza. I love all the stuff about tomato. Just, I love it. I just, I love all the combinations you can make. And now we're going to hop into some Italian street food. And this is going to be from Sicily. It's kind of a long video. It looks to be about 16 and a half minutes long. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into it. Italian food. From pizza to pasta, Italian cuisine Gosh, is well known oh, around so the world. And over the next few videos, we are making our way around the Mediterranean Sea on an Italian cruise ship with several stops in Italy to try the different regional nice. dishes. Our first stop is the southern city of Palermo in Sicily, Italy to try some of the local Look street food. This is a good start and I can't wait. What else will eat here today? Of course, we are going to need some caffeine to start. Absolutely. We stopped by a small cafe and were convinced by some locals to try a few pastry items for breakfast. Welcome to Sicily. It's pretty early in the morning. We just got off our cruise ship and this is actually kind of the first time for the both of us in Palermo here. Actually, we're still kind of at the port area and we're going to go into the inner city. But we had to stop because we haven't had our morning coffee yet. And we thought, why get a coffee? at the boat when I can get a real Italian coffee here. So I went with a cappuccino and uh, what I noticed in Italy is they are pretty small. But let's see if it's good or not. A cappuccino in Italy. Oh, I needed that, <laughs> man. I'm still so tired. All right, with our coffee, we've got two little... As you guys know, I'm not a big coffee guy. I do like Tim Horton's French vanilla cappuccinos. Um, well, I'm very thankful I got one like 10 minutes up the road, but I don't really go get it too awful much, especially when it's not too too cold outside. Um, but that right there on screen looks fantastic. Pastry things because Italians love their pastry. I don't know if these are breakfast items, but this round thing they recommend it to us. It's uh, called a Genovese or something a la Genovese. I'm not sure, but it's apparently typically Sicilian and it's this round pastry that is uh, fairly hot on the outside. We just cut it in half and it has this nice custard looking filling on the inside and then there's a ton of powdered sugar on there. So this is typical Sicilian breakfast. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. The dough That's is fairly dry, but it tastes really good. It's it a little bit really like good. a cookie. Like it's very sweet, but it becomes this nice mush and tastes very strong and nice. And then this custard filling, I can't tell. I think it's some type of vanilla custard in there. I like it a lot. All right, and I have enough. It almost looks like when I went down to New Orleans um, a couple years back, yeah, what, they what are they called? A beignet? Is that what they're called? Like just basically like a little powdered sugar fried ball of dough, basically. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. I know that's, I think that's French. Am I, am I saying that? Am I, am I correct with that French or from Spain? One of the two, but I think, I think it's French, but that's what it kind of reminded me of right there. Espresso without milk. It's nice. I just need some good coffee. The boat coffee has been a little meh. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I need to wake up today. Hmm. But then we also have another classic Sicilian and Italian wait. dessert. We came for this, we eyeballed the coffee, and then we came for this. Cannoli is the plural form of it. The singular is cannolo, right? Anyway, so it's this deep fried yeah, pastry. Okay. They had all of the shells laying out there, and they fill it with this sweet ricotta and just cover it with powdered sugar as well. I'm excited to kind of dig into this. This is something that um, I know living in the US, it's like a very classic Italian dessert, and I'm excited to try it here. Oh my god. Mm. That is so, so sweet. Oh, it has this nice crunchy texture. And then the inside is so creamy and so sweet. A lot sweeter than I expected. Wow, that's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Great start. It must be yes, super sweet, because I've always heard that our sweets are way cloudy, sweeter the sun seems to be than coming out and, uh, like European epic. sweets and stuff. With so the sun on our side, sweet. we make our way further towards the city. The streets of Palermo. There's one savory street food snack that I've been excited to try, so we make our way to a small courtyard that brings us to a hidden gem of a place called Equalkini that is full of delicious Sicilian snacks. 
All right, we're going strong. Next stop on this food list is in this little alleyway. There's a really nice shopping street, and then we kind of found a little sign back here, and it's called I Koshini is the restaurant's name. But we came here for these delicious fried rice dough balls. We got two different types, and we'll just open it up and see what's in it. These are called arancini. Oh, that's the ham and cheese. Yep, this Ooh. one is the ham and cheese one. Oh, and it looks so good. It smells so good. It's very warm to the touch. She just gave it to us then and there. One euro each for these things, and they're the classic street yeah, food snack here yeah, in Sicily. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm. It doesn't so help that it's lunchtime for me right now. This is making me even all hungrier. All battered and then deep fried into this warm, nice little bowl. This is my type of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. I love fried food and I love rice, so and cheese, and cheese and ham. So just put it all together. This is like a ten out of ten thing for me. Mm -hmm. mm. This could very well be a little fried potato, but it's not fried rice. <laughs> just imagines anything round and yeah. as a potato. Let me break that open as well. Ooh, yeah, Ooh. Oh, nice. It's like bolognese and a rice ball. She said this one is filled with meat. It looks like a little bit of bolognese in there. She said this one's filled with beef and it smells really nice. Yeah, dude. Okay. I like this too. That one I looks better. This I'm just sorry. That a little bit like a better. pizza snack. But with the rice, it's very different. It's very oily, but super satisfying. Man, for, for Euro, if we haven't had to eat 10 more things, then I would just go in there and get a couple more. Mm. Dude, both very nice. This is an awesome start to the street. I've never heard of this before. What is it? Arancini? Arancini, yeah. So good. We were extremely satisfied with the last stop, but it's time to continue on. We walked around the city, passing beautiful historic beautiful buildings. Too. So we're slowly making our way deeper into Palermo. Such a beautiful and, uh, city, man. I love, a little I love these buildings. Beautiful, like these old buildings. Came out to this big plaza here. What is it here? Piazza, I think. I like some of the architecture. Some of it feels very old, some of it feels very run down. It's interesting to see kind of the contrast. This seems to be like the main street walking through. These canyons in the buildings look pretty epic. It's so it's going as long as you can see it, and then you hit this mountain in the back. It's pretty nice. Passing tourist attractions <laughs> and passing plenty of churches. Also, building up an appetite for the next street food snack, Sicilian style pizza. All right, for our next stop, we stopped here right in the heart of this walking street that crosses the city and we had to get a piece of Svincione. This is Sicilian style pizza and it's very different than all the Italian style pizzas that I know because yeah, it's that... very thick bread and it's also square and not round. So they make a full tray of this. It's very tomato heavy. I would assume there's some cheese underneath. Looks so good. Smells nice too. See, it's very heavy. It's very heavy for a piece of this size. Yeah. So they have a whole tray there and then they warm it up for you as you order it. Mmm, dude, so far. I'm so happy with Italian food. I love everything tomato-based. Tastes very strong herbal, like basil flavor. Very thick bread. Look, I like tomato stuff. I'm not like big on the, the tomato itself, but I like tomato flavor things. That looks to be just a little bit too much. And that's for just me onions right in the sauce in here. And overall, that's very my nice. It tastes still Americanized kind of pizza like coming pizza, out. but more herbal. It's just good. It's more of a big bread. This is like more of a bread style bread than a pizza dough. It's very, very heavy, very dense. It's really good. It's a suicide like pizza. Mm. So this looks so fluffy, like way fluffier than the crusts I'm used to. Mmm, it's way more oniony than I expected. There's a fat layer of onions under here, and okay. it's quite nice. It's very fresh. Okay. It doesn't have that typical like Neapolitan style pizza that I'm used to. It's a lot heartier than the thin crust pizza I'm used to. But yeah, it's really good though. Only two fifty for this too. So far, the prices are great. <laughs> this yeah, really I mean, feels like these street food. I know I'm a fatty, you know, but that that one piece of pizza would look like it would fill me up, or at least. Hold me over, you know, until dinner. City, if anything, because it's this huge long street and it stands everywhere and the arancini every couple meters they yeah, have. For either clothing or food. Yeah, and so many like snack stores where you can just get fried stuff like to go. Yeah. It's, uh, it seems like very, very street foody. We turned off of the main walking street oh. to a side street that appeared to have more of a market vibe with fresh fish and seafood for sale. There was also a small section of restaurants and the smell of grilled meat and spices reached our noses instantly. We saw bacon wrapped vegetables, oh. freshly made sausages, oh and gosh, various yes. grilled organs. The meat display enticed us, so organs. we ordered our next street <laughs> food snack at this open grill called Dajali. All right, so what we stumbled upon here has to be 
the most epic street food corner in all of Palermo. They're grilling everything there on the street grill. So we went over there, asked for the sausage, which is this like pork sausage they have there, raw and on display. Then he throws it on the grill and it's grilled freshly there for you. They put it on a panini, on this panini. There's lettuce, there's tomato, there's bell peppers and spicy sauce on top. I'm just gonna dig in here. It just looks like out of a movie this set. This literally looks like a movie set. There's a whole bunch of small alleyways. There's wet market seafood going on. This is for euros. See how good it is. Wow, so juicy. This is very good. The sausage is very rough, very chunky. I think there's a good amount of chunky fat pieces in there. But it's not too bad. It's very juicy when you bite Cheers. in there. And that then the spicy fantastic. sauce he offered me is Tabasco, so you can taste the Tabasco. But I'm surprised by the amount of fresh ingredients that are on here as well. This is actually very decent and yeah this is not four bargain. euros for that thing that's not a bad deal not i'm amazed all. by some of the prices here i feel Thanks like you can get a lot of great filling options for a pretty affordable price satisfied with the street meat we make our way back to the main shopping street stopping by the fontana pretoria and quattro conti the four cornered intersection of these beautiful historic buildings so i'm great. happy to see another country so as tuk tuks because i'm a big Thailand Tuk Tuk fan and I didn't know that they had them in Italy as well this many but they do and it's kind of cool and craving a little sweet treat we couldn't go to Italy without tasting some gelato all right we just got a brioche con gelato which is apparently something that originated here in Sicily it's the original ice cream sandwich and we found it of huh. course in this endless street food street here in Palermo never even it's thought a brioche of that we've heard of this size I would say like personal size has a little nubby on top could be a little boob actually and then it's cut open and they filled it up with a good amount of pistachio ice pistachio. cream okay i think these are at least two scoops so she was like yeah pistachio is the way to go and then she scooped it up and put it in there you get it with a spoon and uh i think i'm just gonna try the ice cream first gelato finally it's pistachio gelato because there's so much pistachio here and i love it really good i didn't expect any less from italy this is actually where the gelato originated also. Mm. So ice cream I sandwiches swear, remind me of summertime. There's just, I don't know what it is. I've never even had authentic Italian food, but there's just something about it that just draws me to it. In the USA, I had them all the time as a kid, you know, before college and my lactose intolerance kicked in. <laughs> but when in Italy, right? Mm. Oh my God. I love it. I love pistachio ice cream. It's one of my favorites. It's actually my mom's favorite ice cream. And we used to always have a tub of it in the freezer, but it would never last very long. Try and bite bun. into it. Don't bite all the way through it. Just try the bun. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Beautiful, though. It's got a little boob. No, <laughs> oh, she ate it. Oh. <laughs> Finishing up that delicious gelato, we continue walking through the city. We pass more gelato shops and several souvenir stores with these cute arancini and cannoli magnets. In between filming these food stops, we like to just walk around the side streets of a city. And this next stop was an unplanned stop. It's a dream of mine to be able to do that right there. By without trying something. Just so we walk just walked down the street and there was this little street food stop. It's literally out there having a little display and of like the culture, mini pizzas it's and mini lasagnas. But what's more Italian? than a pizza or a lasagna. This is three euros, so very cheap, very small. Actually, not that small. That I'm so cool. curious. Here's two, I only have a fork. Oh, it's hard to break apart, to be honest. Oh, look at those layers. Okay, we have peas in there, there's some carrots, there's some bolognese, I'm not sure how much meat is in there, but yeah, a little street food. Little if you're Italian, let me, peas and carrots in a lasagna, is that is that normal? I mean, because we don't, I mean, at least in my family, we don't do peas and carrots and lasagna. It's just, it's just the you know the meat, cheese, sauce, noodles, your your basic stuff. Lasagna, yeah, in the streets of Palermo. Actually, very good. The first thing I taste is tastes a little bit more like a vegetable lasagna, but very good. It's very cooked through. Is there any meat in it? It could be a vegetable lasagna. No, there's there's a little bit of meat in there. There's a little bit of bolognese oh. meat in here. But dude, this city feels really like a street food city. Everything is on the streets, like the stalls, you can get everything to go very quickly. And it's just food left, right, everywhere. Very nice. All right, so we're here and we saw this and it looks really good. He has sheets of the Sicily style pizza just laid out there. If we hadn't already eaten that, we might've gotten it here. But then I saw this and it has eggplant. I know a lot of Italian dishes have eggplant in it. And I personally love, love, love eggplant. This looks Never really good, so we plan. had to 
try it. <laughs> we're just uh, I would seeing try things it. on the street and when giving in Italy, it a try. Right? This is three years. When in Italy, I would try it, but I, I don't know if I would try it here. I don't, I don't know. Eggplant's just something to me. Just never, never was like, yes, I got to try that. Rose, and it's a pretty big and heavy piece. Mmm. Mm. You have the nice dough there, you have the tomato sauce, and then you have this eggplant, and I love eggplant, but it's this nice, like, uh, mushy texture. But it goes really well on top of it, it's kind of, like, spreadable. Mm. Also, I think the uh, Palermo area is home to some eggplant dishes, right? Don't, yeah. Didn't some originate here, like a... Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan, we might find that, we have an eye open for it, but we haven't seen it yet. Well, if we see it, we might eat it. I just think it's amazing. You can get a little lasagna on the street. How awesome is this? If we lived here, I'd get this, bring it home. Three euros. Bada bang, bada boom. It's fantastic. Let's go. Before we continue to the last stop, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more food and travel videos. A big thank you to our patrons who make these videos possible. And shout out to these family tier Patreon members. Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Matro, Tarek Malkosh, Megan Rosati, Klaus Izart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Marianne Damiat, Sherry and Keith Dennis, Jessica Saransak, Jeff Standen, Debbie and Ray Gordon, and Micah Mann. Thank you. All right, for this stop still in the heart of Palermo, we came to this street food stall. It literally advertises street food on the side. So they have a lot of seafood stuff. Of course, they have cannoli again and arancini. But since Sicily is an island and Palermo is right on the coast, we get a mixed seafood thing here. And there are three different things in there. There are mini calamari in there. There are mini octopus and then little prawns. And I'm just going to start with this little calamari since it's already on my stick. And uh, this little guy. Put it in your mouth. Mmm, very nice. Obviously, they're all deep fried again, so it's a little oily, but they didn't literally do it fresh for you there. They dumped them in and then you get it. There's no sauce or anything with it, but I think it doesn't need it. There's a slight lemon hint of it, so I think they're squeezing some fresh lemon on here. Mm. So whenever I think of street food on an island, I always think of fried seafood. And then we yeah. have these little cal- I, I did too, and I kind of thought that's what they would start the video out with. I'm not a seafood guy, I just, I, I just, for some reason can't do it. So this one doesn't really appeal to me much, but- Calamari rings, which is so classic That's just me. me. I'm smells nice packed with people ordering things and they're making everything fresh there this was 10 euros for this seafood combination here and really we're gonna try it. it looks to be a lot of food not in bad there. i do wish there was some type of tartar sauce Ooh, maybe that's the american in me but i would like some type of sauce with it as you dive deeper you have these little fish these whole fish look like little sardines so we're gonna go for it they smell a little fishier whoa I just ate it, bone and everything. It dissolves in your mouth. It is very fishy. Oh yeah, they have this like herring taste. Definitely the most flavorful of this lot. If you can't tell it's street food, um... we're literally on the street. And if you can't tell, street food has a lot of fried food going with it. And I feel like this fits the theme it's quite nice. Yeah. All right, this is where we are now. That was our Italian street food tour here from Palermo on Sicily, and it was very nice. Yes, I'm so full. Let us know what your favorite Italian street food is. Gosh, We'd love right to hear there. about it, it and killer. eat it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make our way back to our cruise ship. We'll continue with Italian food next week, so stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Just well, if you couldn't tell, this is gonna be part one of a few because I'm, I'm very curious. Most of that looked good. I'm not a seafood guy, like I said, so that part didn't really interest me too much, but most of that looked really good. I'm curious to see what they're going to run into, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, later on, more, like, I'm sure they're going to go to, like, Rome and stuff like that, so I'm very curious about that kind of stuff, but whew, that stuff, for the most part, looked really, really good. I really thoroughly enjoyed that video, and I hope you guys did as well. Subscribe to their channel. You know, obviously, they're fantastic at what they do. They're very entertaining, and they do a good job showcasing everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you all so much for being here with it. Leave a like on this video if you haven't already. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. It's free for you. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for being here. And we'll see you guys on the next one.